Lions, thanks to Aubrey. He uh, managed to pick up on one track, like I said, that we missed. And then he checked Sandy Patch Road, where I think he'd spotted them and they were on the move. But they are now, we're quite close to Triple M. We're not too far away. And I can see one, two, three, three lionesses so far. And I can even see a big Birmingham. Should we show you the big Birmingham? I also don't know how many cubs there are because there are a carpet of cubs at the moment. And it's very difficult to tell one end of the line from the other. We'll just sneak through over here. Hi girls. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry David, I forgot about the roof for a moment there. Let me try this again. There we go. Just got to turn the nose a bit. Whoop. Hello big lion. Now who have we got here? Does this look like, this looks like it's probably Tinior, doesn't it? Let's see, has he got a scar on the side of his face? No, don't go behind the guari tree now. Come back. Come back, please. We'll tell you in a moment who it is. I suspect it doesn't look like Mfumo to me. It actually looks like it could be Tinior. I could be wrong. Louise, what do you think? Who do you think this is? No comment. It is Tinior. Yes, I'm getting really good at this now. So I wonder where Mfumo is. He must be around somewhere. Now, if you're wondering what that funny black bar is on your screen, it is the roof. We have got our rain covers on, and it's just forming a little bit difficult the way that these lions are sitting around us to try and get the best view of all of them. So we've tried to line the cubs up nicely, and Mfumo needs to stop moving around now. Not Mfumo, Tenyo. I meant to say Tenyo. But now he's going to sit down. One, two, I can still only see three lionesses, so we're missing two. I wonder where they are. It's very thick, so they could just be sitting uh, maybe a little bit further away. Hey, David, have you seen any more? Uh, uh. But I'm sure that we don't need to worry about them. I'm sure that they're around somewhere. They always seem to be around. But the cubs look cold today. Very chilly, all cuddled up with each other. Oh, a couple of them having a groom. But it seems as though the cubs don't look like they really want to go anywhere. The lionesses, on the other hand, are up. And we'll see if they get a move on. There we go. They look keen. They look like they're hungry. You can see them listening to every little thing. There we go. She's smelling the air now. Hoping to potentially pick up on the scent of an animal, perhaps a buffalo. Oh, she's walking right in front of the car. Hi, girl. Going to go and greet. It's always funny how some days they seem to like each other more than others. Normally when they walk up to each other, they'll rub heads and do a big groom. But the lioness that's curled up under the tree, she doesn't look too impressed with anybody. Come on, guys, go and look for something to eat. Your little ones need to eat too. And it's unusual to see these Nkahumas without bulging bellies after the, the, the drought that we've had. They definitely were very successful in benefiting um, from all the, the buffalo. <laughs> I'm just going to lay on top of you, don't mind me. She snuck in there so quietly. And she does not look impressed, this other lioness on the right. Oh. Now? Now, something keeps grabbing these lions' attention off in the distance, sort of just further west of us. I don't know where... It, oh, sorry. I don't know where Tinio is going. I was just looking over my shoulder to see where he could go, where he's going for a moment. I, uh, maybe he's following him full more. Aubrey did say that there were some hyenas 
uh, calling off into the distance. So perhaps they're, they're heading that way now uh, to go and follow up on, on what those calls are. But the lionesses, they're watching, but they don't seem to be as, um, as sort of distracted by that sound and sort of wanting to head over that way. So we'll just have to listen out very carefully. Now, uh, Jason, you were wondering this morning if uh, the private reserves uh, go and collect lion bones to stop uh, fueling the lion bone trade. I haven't really heard of any places doing that. It, it would be difficult here, of course, because it's such a vast area. So if a lion were injured and were to die somewhere, the chances of you coming across that carcass is quite small. And, and it depends if it's a private reserve, that has got a fence around it and it's only a few thousand acres of land, then it's a little bit easier to keep tabs on the animals. Then I'm sure that they, they, I think they would just really leave it out in the bush. I don't think it would bother them too much at all. It would be a nice thing to go past and actually have a look at. Whether they remove it and put it in a museum so that guests can see it or if they just leave it to degrade naturally out in the bush, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm so sorry. I'm going to sit just quietly every now and then. I just want to listen because whatever is happening is happening far away in the distance, which is obviously makes it difficult for us as humans to hear because our hearing is nowhere near as sensitive as a lion's. No, now I can just hear a lavalence cuckoo. Right, it seems as though the leopards have decided to pop back out again. Let's go back across to Evia.